quickly. Perhaps if I spend an hour, or at the most two hours, when I'm feeling really inspired, I'm done for the day, and then there's a problem of what to do with the other 22 or 23 hours of the day. I feel I should be doing something important, but uh, what? I usually don't write autobiographical poetry, but this sort of turned out that way accidentally. I realized after I'd finished it, since in fact I did have a brother who died when we were both children. Once upon a time there were two brothers, then there was only one, myself. I grew up fast before learning to drive even. There was I, a stinking adult. I thought of developing interests someone might take an interest in, no soap. I became very weepy for what had seemed like the pleasant early years. As I aged increasingly, I also grew more charitable with regard to my thoughts and ideas, thinking them at least as good as the next man's. Then a great devouring cloud came and loitered on the horizon, drinking it up for what seemed like months or years. I had always wanted to go to France ever since I was a child and read French fairy tales and writers like Balzac and Proust. It was just the thing I always wanted to do and ended up doing. It took me a while to adjust to being in a country where a foreign language was spoken. Uh, my own poetry derives very much from hearing colloquial or even worse, American being spoken around me, especially in New York, where you overhear strange things being said, and I often incorporate them into poems. I didn't have that sort of uh, cushion in, in France, and it, it took me a while to uh, adjust and to learn how to write all over again without the uh, um, background noise of American in my ears.